Hey, what's up guys? Matt here with Fix Anything Save Money. Today we're gonna to be going over this Simpson pressure washer with the Honda GC190 engine on it. So we're gonna be showing you all the features of this. I'm gonna be telling you how to properly winterize it or if you're storing it for longer than 30 days, what you should be doing with it. And yeah, we're just gonna be showing you the features of this pressure washer. So let's get right into it. First things first, we'll show you, this is where you put gas in. Now, one thing you want to note with this, there's warnings everywhere on this pressure washer that you don't want to use anything greater than a 10% ethanol content. So just be careful when you're filling up your gas can at the pump, just make sure that it has less than 10% ethanol in it, or it could cause damage to this engine. So here's your on off switch. Here's your spark plug and then going up to the back, this is the pump itself. On top here, this is your filter. So I'll show you how to remove the filter cover real quick. So to do that, you just press in on these tabs right here. And there's your filter. If you want to remove it and replace it, just check them periodically, make sure they're not getting dirty. You can see this one's still in great shape. And then when you reinsert it, you just want to make sure that it's seated properly in there. It's seated all the way down. And then this comes off, but this just folds into these little clips. Like that. And then just presses right down. And then our cover's back on. And then we'll show you where you add oil in. So the oil reservoir on this is on the other side. So here's your dipstick. This is where you would add your oil. And depending on your climate, it might take a 5W30 or a 10W30. But where I live, it's kind of a little bit colder, so I run a 10W30 in this. And I'll look up the specs on how much oil this takes and I'll put it in this video. I'll just put a little text bubble up with how much oil this takes. Okay, so there's now if you want to change the oil, you don't dump it over or do anything like that, like you do with some of the lawnmowers that have Honda engines. What you want to do is come to the other side of this. And you can see right underneath here, right underneath the gas tank, that bolt right there, you unscrew that and put a catch basin underneath, underneath this, underneath the base, just put, you know, whatever, Tupperware container or whatever, and the oil comes out of there and goes through that hole in the frame. So that's kind of what they came up with to drain the oil without getting it all over the place. <clears throat> okay, so now we'll work our way back up. You can see here, this is where we would hook up the garden hose. And you can see the little screen. You always want to make sure this screen is free of any debris. And then this would be the air outlet that feeds the hose for the actual wand here. So you can see I already have it hooked up because I've recently been using this. And now we'll go up to We'll show you the different nozzles that this comes with. So you can see here we have 0, 15 degrees, 25 degrees, 40, and then this black one is uh, strictly for soap. So you can use this on any material. But the only thing I will mention is the 0 and 15. Don't use those on wood because it'll eat into the wood. It's just it's too much pressure. It's, you can see it's just a real pinpoint flow that comes out of each one of these. So you really don't want to start pressure washing on wood with like maybe start on the 25 and just test it somewhere, you know, discreetly and see how it's cleaning. And then, you know, if you're comfortable, it's not going to destroy the wood on 25, then use that or bump it up to 40 to clean any, any wood, but zero and 15, that's mainly for concrete and, uh, and metal and stuff like that. But even painted metal, you're not going to want to use these two because it'll take the paint right off of any metal. So 
your best bet's probably just to do 25. And then if you're only doing like unfinished concrete or like un unpainted concrete or something like that, then you could probably use the zero or the 15. So to start this, the sequence to start this is you pretty much flick this over to on. This is your priming stick. So you would pull this out to prime it. And then down here, here's your pull start. So you turn this on, pull this out, start your engine. It might take a couple cranks. And then once the engine's running, you push this in and you'll notice that the engine starts running a lot smoother. And then that's, this would be your normal operating way. So you would just leave it like that. And then when you want to turn the engine off, you just flick this from on over to off. It'll kill the engine and you'll be good to go. So now as far as, oh, I'll show you one more thing. So this hose that comes with the pump, this is if you're gonna be adding any detergents or soaps to your, uh, to your cleaning. So you could see under here, this is where you would insert this end. You would push it straight up into here. I'm not gonna do it. You have to use some muscle to get that in there. But you just push that, this clear hose right into that nozzle. And then you would put this end into any detergent bottle or whatever solution you're gonna be using to clean. And it'll slowly leak up into here. And it'll slowly go into this hose for your cleaning. And just so you guys know, I recently replaced the pump in this. Um, it had a crack in the aluminum here and it was leaking really bad. So I did a video on how to replace this pump. So if you're looking um, for a how-to video on how to do that, be sure to subscribe and check out the channel. I have a video up on that. It walks you through step-by-step -step how to remove this, how to reinstall everything. So yeah, if you wanna check that out, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check that out. And then we'll show you how these quick connects go on. So we'll just go with this nozzle right here. Okay, so to insert the quick clip, you're just gonna to wanna to press this brass ring on the actual wand. This depresses, so you just pull that in. Put your quick clip in and then release. And that should lock into place. See, that just gave me a little bit of problem. But you could see it. You might just have to press it up and then it's locked into place. And then to remove it, you just do the same thing. Pull this ring back and then just remove your nozzle and then you're good to go. So yeah guys, and then to winterize it properly, if you're gonna be, they recommend winterizing it if you're gonna be storing it um, in freezing temperatures or if you're not gonna be using it for 30 days, they recommend you put some sort of fuel stabilizer in here in the gas and then just run it for like 10 minutes so that it goes throughout the entire engine. So you just wanna put a fuel stabilizer in there with a full tank of gas and then they also make a product, Simpson makes a product that you actually put directly into the pump. And I'll include a link in the description for that. It's to maintain the pump over the winter. It keeps all the seals fresh and it prevents the uh, actual pump from, from breaking. So I recommend doing that, especially if you're gonna be storing it somewhere cold over the winter. And that's pretty much, you just take the bottle and screw it right onto here you want to un unhook both of these. So you want to un unhook this hose and then screw in the solution, screw in the bottle into this, into your water inlet, and then squeeze it through and it'll go throughout the entire pump and it'll keep your pump good throughout the winter. Or if you're gonna be storing it for a long time and not be using it for a while, you don't want to come back and have a broken pump. So yeah, I'll include a link in the description on where you can pick up that, where you can pick up fuel stabilizer, and then I'll also include a link on where you could pick up a new pump. And also, if you're interested in buying this, I don't believe they make this specific one, but they make pretty much the same exact one. I think it's just like, it just looks all black, but it's the same exact thing. So I'll include a link in the description on where you could buy this pressure washer. So yeah, guys, that about does it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll get back to them as soon as possible in the comment section. Otherwise, be sure to like, subscribe to the channel check out all my other videos. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.